This time we have chosen eco-friendly tourism and you might have noticed that the last stop of this Bali trip is a bit different from the other two but Changu is a very touristic place and many of you will probably visit here so we thought that it would have been nice to give you some recommendation about what to choose here to support sustainability and ecotourism. Teana Eco Villa is the only eco-friendly accommodation here in Changu and we're really happy to be here because this place is really worth it in any aspect. First of all is an eco villa. So some of the things they do here, they have a zero waste policy. They don't use any straw, they don't use anything single use uh, item like napkins or plastic bags. They even have um, an eco flush policy for all the toilets so we are really really happy to support places like this one the staff is amazing they are super friendly always smiling always happy to help you with anything you need we have also tried the spa and that was something that left me really speechless i tried the flower bath it was my dream since i was a little girl and the food, the food was incredible. They don't have a lot of vegan options, but the chef was really, really happy to accommodate our needs. So uh, for two mornings in a row, we got amazing veganized food. So don't be afraid to ask when you come here, they will be more than happy to help you with that as well. To visit the surroundings, we got as usual a motorbike. There is a renting place just around the corner, so it's really easy to walk there and get a motorbike for like $7 a day. And that is the best way for us to visit the surroundings and above all the places to eat. <laughs> Changu is heaven for vegans. So we tried to visit as many places as possible. We are so full after two days, but you will see it's really, really worth it. The first place that we have visited is Give Cafe. No better name could have been chosen for this place, Give. They give a lot. What they do here, every profit they make goes to charities in need. They've chosen three different charities, one related to animals, one related to environment, and one related to people. This is the first time we find something like that, so we thought it would have been really worth it to talk about it and to promote it so that more people could come here and enjoy their 100% vegan plant-based food, so no guilt, and at the same time you can help someone really in need. How it works, you order your food, you pay for your food, and depending on how much you've spent, they will give you two wooden tokens and you can choose which charity that will go to. They also have a sister cafe. We've been there this morning. The name is Kind Community. That place is amazing. So colorful. Food is super delicious. And of course, 100% vegan. We want to support these kind of businesses, not just because they look pretty for your Instagram pictures, but because they really have a good cause and you can really be an active part to help them. There are so many other vegan spots in Changu to try and to choose from. We have tried a few for you. One of these is just behind my back. The name is Uma Jamu, or I don't know if I've spelled it in the <laughs> correct way. Um, and it's on the street, as you can see, sorry for the noise, but the view on the other side is really worth it. It's on the rice fields. And what you can do here, there is a vegan buffet you can choose seven different options on your plate and you only pay four dollars so 
very, very worth it and delicious. Another really good one that we have tried is the Shady Shack. I love the style of this restaurant, 100% vegan. Again, overlooking the rice field, try their sweet potato gnocchi. I love them. And also the jackfruit tacos were really, really good. It's located really close to the way to the beach. So maybe you can go there after one of those beautiful sunsets that you can enjoy here in Changu. Definitely another one that you must try is Falafel Temple. The place is very new I think I think it's quite recent and you can see from the design I loved it and the presentation of the food is really something that you would love for your Instagram again 100% plant-based and it's all about the Moroccan delicacies so you can try all the medze and hummus and falafel really really good we love that place and the stuff was really really nice as well and the last one that we think we should recommend just maybe for a snack is plant cartel something that you must try if you stop there is their chicken popcorn made of jackfruit of course and we have also tried their ice cream it was quite good so yeah if you are on the way to the beach or if you want a like late evening snack that is the place to go What have we learned from this trip to Bali? First of all, I was really happy to see that Bali is becoming more environmentally conscious. They have banned the plastic bags almost everywhere and they're working really hard to uh, do some more changes for the environment. So I'm really, really happy to have seen this. We have chosen to focus on uh, eco-friendly trip this time and this is what we, we're going to do forever from now on because we really want to encourage people to choose this kind of tourism rather than normal tourism. Uh, our world needs us, our planet needs us and this is just a tiny little thing that we can do even when we travel to help our environment. We've been to three different beautiful eco-friendly accommodations. We have tried the best vegan restaurants for you. We have done eco-friendly activities. And one last thing that I forgot to mention so far, but it's really, really important. If you need to travel around Bali and you're a bit lost and you don't want to get your own motorbike and you feel better having a local guy with you, please choose the guys at Visions of Bali. They are super, super, super heroes. They're really good, uh, super friendly, and they will take you everywhere you want, and even to really hidden places that you didn't even know they existed. Thank you again for following us. As always, please remember our social media if you want to follow us. We have our Instagram, our Facebook, our blog, vegantraveldiaries.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here below. Thank you so much again. Salamat. <laughs>